Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Meet Major Ogumala's only child who is also in the entertainment industry. For a long while now, many people thought Major Ogumala was the mother of the Yoruba actor Sukomi Mobilali. Major Ogumala is married to the comic Yoruba actor who many know as Papilue or Alue, but his real name is Sunday Omobolali. Sunday Omobolali, Sukomi Mobilali, and Major Ogumala are all popular Yoruba movie actors. Alue got married to Major Ogumala is the daughter of the late legend Kola Ugumola and she also had a brother who was also in the entertainment industry back then but unfortunately died more than a decade ago. His name was Yomi Ugumola. Many people do not know this but Alue got married to two women. He had two wives but unfortunately lost his first wife. The first wife of Sunday Omobolali who we popularly know as Alue gave birth to three children, two girls and one boy. These children are Victoria Mobilali Belu, Sukomi Mobilali and Kemi Olayemi. And out of all those three children, only Sukomi, Alue's first wife's only son, followed the path of their father and became a Yoruba actor. The other two are doing well for themselves, but in different industries. The three are also happily married. Papilue's first daughter, Victoria Belu, is a businesswoman married to a popular footballer known as Belu and her marriage is blessed with two kids. His second daughter, Kemi Olayemi, is married to a popular Lagos iron merchant, Alaji Wale Olayemi, and she's blessed with two kids also. While Sukomi Omobolali is married to a Dublin-based lady, Bimbo Omobolali. Meanwhile, Major Ogumola's marriage to Aluwe is almost three decades now. Aluwe is for a son, used to refer to as Major Ogumola's son, and not many people knew about Major Ogumola's child. Major Ogumola has only one child, his son, whom she gave birth to in the early 90s. So in total, Alue has four children, two girls and two boys. Kwejo Komala is one of the thespians that are active on social media. And just some days ago, this proud mother showed off her son. His name is Ayomiko, and he is also in the entertainment industry. But Ayomiko is not an actor, which surprised a lot of people, since he practically grew up among thespians. But still, Ayomiko is in the entertainment industry. He's entertainment inclined, and he's rather in the music industry. For a while now, this young man has been working on his craft and brand, and working his way to the top. So this is Major Ogmola's son and only child, Ayomiko Shola Ogu. Please stay with us for a short and interesting compound fact about Aluwe and his family. Some years ago, Papilue had revealed to city people on how he met his wife Beju and how long it took her to agree to his proposal. During that time, Beju's father's home was a place of abode for many young entertainers as it was like a father to all of them. So whenever all of them returned back from their stage plays, they all used to stay back at Pa Ogumola's house. Papilue, who was married at that time, used to joke with Beju, who was also a very young girl. That he was going to marry her. Beju would always overlook his jokes and would respond that she's not interested in marrying him. But as time went on, she agreed to his proposal and they got married. However, Beju had earlier revealed before their marriage that she fell in love with Papilue and was convinced about marrying him because he often used to speak boldly about the marriage plans he had than all her other toasters. Sunday Omobalale, who we all know as Papilue, was born on October 1 in 1954 at Ilora, a town in Oyo State. His journey to the acting world, he believes, was ordained by God. In fact, since joining the Ojola Dupo Theatre Group in the early 70s, Sonia Mobalale has remained one of our foremost actors and comedians. This Oyo State-born thespian shared his story a while ago. It was in the early 70s when he joined the Ojola Dupo Theatre and he started on a part-time basis. But then later on, like most other members, he became a permanent thing. When he was doing a part-time, then he was still working with one of his uncles named Mr. Ayola. Who is now late? He was a pharmacist and he followed him around distributing drugs to some pharmaceutical companies such as Falemi and the host of others. Unfortunately, the man Mr. Falemi died. Though the family of that late man met with Aluwe and the others that they should continue with the company. They ran in for some time and Aluwe took some time off and then later on embraced acting full time. Ojola Dipo Theatre Group was what metamorphosed into our Dakeri Keri. After the death of the leader, Ojulari were popularly known as Baba Miro. What really provoked Alue's interest in acting was a play titled Dekude on NTA a weekly drama program. This drama was staged by the students of the University of Ife, which is now known as Obafemi Awolowo University. He loved this particular episode, and there and then, he decided he was going to be an actor. He adopted the name Alue from somebody. The man used to be his late uncle, 
Mr. Ayola's staff. They used to call him Alue. This was because merely looking at the old man, without him even uttering a word, you start laughing. He said that it was very comical. So the new Alue, Sonny Omobalale, is a replica of that man in manners and behavior. And for the multi rags he used to wear back in those days for his comic roles, when they went to perform at the premises of NT Ibado, after that performance, a man called him and said that since Baba Salah, Aposomo Sizolaya, had his own unique style of making up costume wise, that Ojola Dupo too had his own. So he advised Alue that he should also create his own identity. Alue said he saw sense in what man said and he had to put on his own thinking cap. He went back to all those days in his village in Elora where some people normally put on two or more clothes to either show off or shoot themselves from the weather. So he decided to be putting on multi rags. He also went to touch his hair with powder and coat his teeth with ink, complemented with a pair of weather beating boots. So that was how he came up with this new look. But then Aluwa revealed in an interview that if he didn't end up as an actor, he would have ended up being a cameraman. In those days, when their group used to go and perform at the barbecue, shoot, he got fascinated with the job of the cameraman, that of the cinematographers. The job then had a sort of panache and style that he had thought if he did not continue as an actor, definitely he must be a cameraman. He would have loved to be one of them. I look over the years as featured in several movies, including Efun Shetan Kanakana and Ekwan Lagbala, just to mention a few. Also, many do not know this, but Sukomi Omobalale, who is the only child of Papi Luwe that has told this part of his father, was initially not accepted to be in this movie industry. His father didn't want him to be in the industry because he felt that the remuneration of actors in the industry was quite poor at that time. Nonetheless, Sukomi had started acting since he was nine years old. At that time, the young Sukomi was just involved in acting because he often accompanied his father to the movie set. After a few years, Sukomi had to take a compulsory break from acting when he enrolled in the military school in Zaria. But when he came back, he decided to focus on acting fully. Popular he didn't want him to become an actor, as mentioned earlier, because the remuneration in the acting industry was quite poor at that time. But the young man insisted on following his passion, and his stepmother also played a major role in convincing Aluwe to allow him to join the movie industry. Some of the popular works that he has starred in include Olaidera or Gongwa So. Ori, Eniolo Ruke, Itofufu, and Ala Jota, just to mention a few. So come revealed in an interview that his hobbies are meeting people with wonderful ideas, having intelligent discussions, traveling, shopping, watching movies, swimming, listening to music, and several other things. He also stated that his driving force is God Almighty, his loving parents, and his fans. So this is a compilation of short facts about Alue and his family. We have come to the end of this episode where many people got to meet Major Gumala's only child and son, who is also in the entertainment industry. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.